Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday and welcome back. This is my second candle review that is going up today. Um, I have a number of early fall candles that I'm going to be reviewing over the next several Sundays here. So there might be a few Sundays in August where I have some multiple uploads. Um, but anyway, that is just a heads up on how I'm going to handle all of the candles that are currently flowing into my house. <laughs> um, just so that you guys have an idea of what to expect. So August for me um, normally doesn't really start a whole lot of fall burning, but I'm finding the older I get, the more I rush the summer along and even more so than I normally do. I am just so ready for the weather to change. I am ready for a new season. I am ready for I'm ready for back to school time. I'm ready for cooler weather. I want to be able to open my windows, all of that stuff, right? Um, but anyway, so I kick off the quote unquote start to my fall season usually with apple scents. And so most of what you're going to be seeing over the next couple of weeks here are going to be reviews of different apple scents that I am getting my hands on. So today we are talking about an amazing, this is really good you guys, <laughs> an amazing new scent from Homeworks and obviously it's all farm stand. Um, by the way, uh, I have a feeling I'm probably going to get questions about the pedestal that it's on. So just for clarification, this is a Homeworks pedestal. When it was originally released, it did come in a silver finish, but me being the picky little decor monster that I am, um, I didn't like the silver <laughs> in my house anyway. So I changed it to gold. Um, I do have a tutorial up on my channel that I will link in the description box down below that shows you how I typically customize my Homeworks pedestals. The vast majority of the ones that I purchase, I do end up changing somehow, um, spray painting it a different color or, you know, whatever, whatever I feel like putting glitter on it, whatever I feel like doing. So, but anyway, I've got that tutorial. I will put it in the description box down below. There are more pedestals that should be coming up. I'm not sure if this exact one will be released again, but there currently are a couple of pine cone pedestal options that I will link in the description box down below as well. Um, I wish that I could link this candle for you, but I think this is currently sold out on the Homeworks website, but don't fear. Um, if it doesn't show back up on the Homeworks website, it is actually scheduled to be released at Ulta as well. And I know that some of you are shaking your fists <laughs> because it's, of course it's going to go to Ulta. Um, it, it's, it is released on their website. It is, it's not actually in stock yet. So just know that it looks like it might be sold out because it says email me when in stock. You guys, what that actually means is that Ulta does not have the product on hand. They are famous for releasing things on their website that they don't actually have access to ship out quite yet. So sometimes they'll put like a coming soon sticker like somewhere on the page. That is not currently there. It just says new. And also apparently there's a free gift at Ulta. <laughs> so um, usually when they do free gifts for fragrances, it includes candles as well that are sold at Ulta. So something to keep in mind. Um, I'm excited this is coming to Ulta because I do want to get my hands on more of this, especially for kind of the beginning of September. This is a really nice, um, this is a really nice apple scent, you guys. Um, and the performance of it has been pretty darn stellar. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the top of the candle. I just lit it, um, but you can see kind of how far along I am and the type of wicks we're working with here. So nice wicks. I did just trim them ever so slightly. There are like some smaller mushroom tops that will form on these particular ones. Um, I am careful not to trim the wicks too short when it comes to homeworks, but you also don't want to leave them terribly long. Really, truly the length that I have that you see right there, that's kind of the perfect length I feel like for homeworks wicks. So 
don't trim them too short. Um, you could potentially ruin the candle. <laughs> so um, be careful when you do that, but I do think these wicks need to be trimmed. So let's talk about the, let's talk about the description. Um, let's talk about what I smell and then about the performance and at least how it's performing in my house here. So the notes on this particular scent are sugared apple, golden pear, vanilla bean, and honey. So this is a really nice, sweet, but not overly sweet apple, apple cider, apple juice, um, apple scent. <laughs> that is extremely, extremely like fall appropriate. What I really like about this particular one is that you can smell the honey in here. And what I like about honey is that it's, it adds a different type of sweetness than like a, like when you think about like table sugar sweetness, like there's just this difference. Honey smells warmer to me. It smells maybe a little bit more cozy. Um, it just adds a different vibe. And honey goes really nice with apples, for sure. <laughs> Um, in terms of this sugared apple note, you know what I kind of pick up a little bit in this particular apple candle? Do you guys remember sugared apple from Yankee? Um, it kind of gives me some slight, they're not dupes, not at all, don't get me wrong, but it gives me some slight Yankee Candle sugared apple vibes in that it has this warm, apple sweetness. It's not super gooey smelling. It's not like apple pie filling. It's just done so incredible. Who's at my house? Oh, <laughs> I know exactly who's at my house. You guys, I'm going to have to pick this up here in a second. Um, Alfie has another round of doggy shots. So hold please. Be right back. Okay. Uh, sorry guys, we're back. <laughs> I forgot that Alfie had um, another round of puppy shots and we have a vet that comes to the house. So anyway, um, Alfie's doing great. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be taking a nap here soon because they give him some Benadryl. So uh, back to Fall Farm stand here. Okay, so I would think I would remember talking about like the sugared apple reference with Yankee Candle. It's that same kind of really nice, sweet apple scent that isn't, um, it's just not too terribly cloying and it's quite frankly really enjoyable. Um, there is a golden pear note in this and I do pick up some pear, but it's definitely in the background. The apples really stand out. Um, in terms of like picking out a specific apple, like a Macintosh or a Gala or a Honeycrisp, I don't know that I necessarily smell a specific type of apple. There's quite a number of different apples. There's like some Golden Delicious, it looks like, some Granny Smith, maybe some Gala apples. Um, but uh, I really don't pick out a distinct apple note you know like usually when it's a macintosh that's very obvious when it's like a honey crisp that's very obvious this just kind of smells like maybe a few different apple scents blended together with that hint of pear sort of kind of floating in the background um there's also a vanilla bean note in this that I really don't smell at all. I Nothing even remotely screams vanilla bean to me. And then obviously the honey note, which we've kind of talked about. I feel like that's where the sweetness comes from with this is there's the natural sweetness from the apples. Um, there's the addition of the honey. But what I don't see on here that kind of throws me off a little bit is I do smell some like really light... I don't know if you would say like mulling spices or just some kind of classic like fall spice. It is not a spicy candle. So don't don't get this thinking that it smells like super heavy on cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that. It's it's not like that. But there is a there are some false spices in here. You 
you don't detect them first. You really get the apple more than anything else. But if you get this, I feel like if you have it, let me know down below and let me know if you smell those fall or those like mulling type spices. I really, I'm picking them up. Maybe I'm making it up in my head, but I, I truly do smell them. Um, and that's kind of a little bit about the, the description in terms of what I'm smelling in my house here. You guys, the performance of this one, she is a rock star in terms of performance. Obviously, I'm a fan of these particular wicks, but also the strength and throw, I'm a huge fan of. This is like a solid seven and a half in terms of strength. It's about an eight in terms of throw. This really filled the bulk of the downstairs of my house very, very easily and also very quickly. I was really impressed by how fast this one started to like travel around. Um, I did have this in my fancy lady living room. Obviously we're in the dining room today, but I typically um, have been burning it over here. Um, by the way, that's another QVC box and some of my recycling on top. So um, I'm not actually sure what's in that box. I just brought it in and um, I need to open it. I'm wondering if those are potentially the um, the Christmas cupcake and cinnamon French toast, I'm hoping, but I don't believe those have shipped quite yet. So I'll have to see what, what order that is because I am at the point, QVC seems to be shipping things out in really random order. There are some things that I ordered several weeks ago that still have not shipped out. And I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> like I placed these orders a while ago and Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll talk about those candles later. What I want to say about this candle in conclusion here is that I love this guy and I'll put a link to the this particular scent uh, at Ulta in the description box down below. They do have the email me when in stock option. You should do that. Um, I'm, I don't know that this would sell out instantly at Ulta, I know a lot of you are not shopping at Ulta anymore um, because the shipping tends to be atrocious and I cannot sugarcoat that at all. It is. <laughs> I've had problems with Ulta shipping long before uh, Homeworks candles were even available there, um, but they've always just been really great about replacing things when they arrive damaged. And so I, it's a hassle, but also they replace them. So, you know for me, it's kind of like whatever, but I totally understand that people don't want to deal with the broken glass and the customer service and all that jazz. So, uh, but I do think that this could potentially be one of the few ways to get this scent if you are not able to get it on the Homeworks website or you don't want to order from the Homeworks website or, you know, if you want those Ulta points, which really, truly, that is why I shop at Ulta because the points are amazing. <laughs> Um, by the way, if you have not heard, the Homeworks website did start a rewards program. If you're not signed up for that, that is, it's on their website. You can earn points uh, through obviously shopping on the Homeworks website. You can earn points by doing um, reviews on the website, posting pictures on the website. Um, you can put in your birthday and get some extra points on your birthday type of thing. And then you can turn around and then use those rewards points as money off of your order. So um, if you haven't signed up for that, I already have. I don't shop a ton directly from the Homeworks website because their shipping tends to be a little bit higher than I would like unless they're doing um, like a sale on their shipping. But um, yeah, anyway. You guys, Fall Farm Stand, it's two thumbs up. I love it. Uh, no complaints. And I want more. I really do. <laughs> Even though I have quite a number of apple candles from last year still. So I actually think that I have a couple apple candles from last year that I probably didn't even review, which is embarrassing and disappointing, but that's my problem. All right, you guys, that's it for the candle reviews today. Um, 
If you missed the one that I did earlier today, I'll put that in the description box down below as well. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.